Have you ever thought about doing an A-B testing on your site to see exactly what converts for your customers and what doesn't, but you're not exactly sure how? Stay tuned because in this video, we're going to show you one of our favorite apps to use for A-B testing your Shopify store. Hi, I'm Elle McCann, owner of Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And we have been Shopify experts for over five years now. So one of the best ways to look into increasing your conversion rate on your site is actually by doing A-B testing of either your product page, home page, landing page, so that you can make sure that your people that are actually coming to your site for your site traffic are actually going to convert. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through using the neat AB testing app and showing you exactly how to set that up on your site to test out different things. So we're going to be testing out different images, price points, copy, all of these different things that we can set up to test on the site and then run for about a week to see exactly what's converting. So the goal of all of this is by the end of the testing week period or even two weeks, that you'll have kind of a clear winner that will show, okay, people are converting better on your site by using this one over this one. So that's kind of the A, B testing amount of it all. So let's go ahead and hop straight into my Shopify store and I'll show you how to get this set up on the Shopify app. So we are inside my computer now and I wanted to show you first the site that we are going to be doing this on. So this is our other brand, which is Tomo Fit. It is a printing on demand brand that we have with um, the Shopify platform and we are using Printful with that. So if you are interested in learning how we're building this business, I will put some links in the comments below for that. But we're going to hop in now to the back end of the Shopify store. And I'm over here under the apps area on the left hand side. And I've already got this app set up of neat A-B testing. However, if you don't have this already installed, which I'm sure you don't yet, um, you can go ahead and hit this visit Shopify app store. And that's going to take you to the full Shopify app store where you can go in and search. So I actually already have it pulled up right here for us. Uh, but you're just going to search here in this up hand search bar and type in neat AB testing and you'll be able to find it quickly there. You can learn a little bit more about the app here. They do have a 14 day free trial. However, if you sign up with the link in the description of this video, we actually have worked with the app developer to do a 21 day free trial. So make sure you use that link in the description, but to add it to your store, you would just hit this add app button and you would be then seeing it in your full apps list. So let's go back here and I'm just going to click on the app to go ahead and get us into it in our back end of our Shopify store. Okay. So you can now see, I haven't set up anything yet, but we're going to go ahead and hit create test to get this process started. So there's two different types of tests that you could do. You could do it either as a product attribute test or a product layout test. So this is going to be changing things like the description, the image pricing, and this is going to be changing the overall look of the product page. So to go ahead and do the product page layout, you would just click here for the create product page layout and you would copy your theme. So you would need to already have your theme copied and making these edits. So if, I'll show you how to do this real quick, but we're not going to be testing the layout of it all. So what you would do if you wanted to make a test is you would first go over here to online store. And from here, from actions, you would just hit duplicate and you would duplicate that theme and you would make all the edits on that duplicate theme and save it what you wanted it to be. And that would be the theme that you would go in and choose on the app. So now we'll go back to the apps area and click on the need AB testing again. So to do this, you would want to go ahead and make sure you have the layout changes done in your duplicate theme. So that way they're not made in your existing theme so that it can test which one is better between the two. So once you had that picked up, you would just go in and choose the theme name of whatever you were testing and hit test this theme. However, we're not going to be doing that. So let's go back to the main area and we're gonna do a product attribute test. So I'm gonna click here. 
So now you can choose which product you want it to be available on. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this strong floral tank. It's our most popular design and we can play around with that. So I'm gonna hit select product. So what we're doing by this attribute test is we're letting it test between this version of the product that we're setting up and the existing version. And it's gonna be testing it every 24 hours, kind of rotating back and forth to give different versions to different people. So some people will see your current site and that product version, and some people will see it this product version. And so you can really test and see which one is performing best. Since it's kind of delivering them to different people and it's splitting your audience, you're gonna get to see which product converted the most amount of people with your results. So you can come in here and you could change the title, you could change the description, you could also come in here and change the prices as well as the compare at price, which you can see down here. So if we wanted to put this on sale, you could come in here and do a compare at price as well to show that it's on sale from what it used to be. You can also come in and play with the image. So this dark gray is the first one that you see whenever you go to this product. So we could just go ahead and either add more product images or we can take the one that we already have and drag it and drop it into place. So I'm gonna have this white version show up first to see how that does with the testing. So before we set up this test, I'm gonna come up here and let's test it at a different price. So let's come in and we'll come up here and test this version at $21. So I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it for everything. So I have different prices because I have different, you can see here this Heather White, and there are different sizes and different colors for the shirt. So that's why I have so many options on this product. You may not have this many options on your product to change out. Okay, and let's come up here. And let's say instead of strong floral tank, we're gonna say tank top or we'll say Razorback. Be helpful if I spelled it right. Okay, so Razorback tank top. And we're gonna keep this description the same. Okay, so we've changed the title and we've got the description as the same. And then we've changed the prices. We've lowered it by $4 for each to see how that changes that up. I'm not gonna put anything in the compare at price field but we're gonna just come on down. We also changed the image and we're starting with this white one. And you can change the test cycle amount. So you can change it of how often it switches. So if you were having a large amount of traffic that you were driving to the site, you may wanna have it switch every hour or four hours. However, we're gonna just keep this at the recommended 24 and I'm gonna hit start test. Okay, so the test variant will run for the next 24 hours followed by the control version. So the control version is your previous version, and then the test variant is what we just set up. So I'm gonna hit OK. And so you can see here of the product name, so you could do this for multiple products, the status, and the views and actions. So after you run this for a couple days, you'll start seeing how many people are viewing it and the actions that they're taking in terms of conversions. And if we click in, you can see here that you can see more of the analytics of the control version, which is the current one on the site, impressions, views, add to cart sales, unit sold, revenue, and revenue per view. So you can see all of the different numbers come in. Now, they recommend keeping this for at, at least a week, um, but two weeks is really setting that clear, definitive um, answer and also waiting to see when the chance is at 70% or higher of the overall how it's performing. So once you can see that one's doing better than the other, then you could set that one as a winner and that would be your one that would be permanently on your site, whether it's the one that you already have on your site or if it's a test version. 
And so that would be an easy way to choose which one is the winner. Again, you can see here of how many days it's been running. And we can see whenever you come back to see which one is performing best. So you can come in now and we'll go back to the dashboard. And you could create tests for all of your different products to change them up and let them keep running to see which one is performing better over the next two week span and then make your decisions based on that. So the goal of this overall is to get your products converting better on your site. And this way, instead of just making edits on your site blindly and not knowing which ones are actually, you know, going to really affect people. Now you can go in and make some educated decisions based on testing that you're doing without having to do a completely whole different site design and everything that goes along with that. And this is a lot easier way to test everything out. So I highly recommend getting this neat AB testing app. It's definitely worth testing out and seeing how you can increase your conversion rate with your products. So thanks so much for watching and checking out this video on how to use the neat AB testing app to increase your conversion rate. I would love to know how it went for you. So make sure to comment below anything that you found out, something that you thought maybe this image would work better than this image, but after testing, you realized that wasn't the case. What were your big aha moments? I want to know. So comment below and make sure to share them with us all. Also, if you're looking for more ways to increase your conversion rate on your site, check out our class over here, which is an online class all about increasing your conversion rate on your Shopify store. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to this channel because we post all new videos every Monday through Friday all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.